Duck, the Great Western Engine, as well as Oliver, worked the yards at Tidmouth during their spare time. But they couldn't be at the yard all the time, and the big engines once again found themselves shunting their own trains often. It's not fair, grumbled James. Every pilot we have here wants to gallivant onto their own branch. There's nothing wrong with arranging your own trains, James. Or would you prefer if you stayed in the shed like the last time you complained? Said Edward. That's not the point, said Henry. Us big engines are not built for such work. It's frankly unacceptable. That will do, said a familiar voice. The fat controller stood looking at the big engines. Rest assured, I know this is a problem. It's taken me a while, but I finally found a permanent pilot. Due to track maintenance on his branch, Thomas will come help show him around. The engines smiled. They were most glad to have an engine to shut their trains for them. The new engine arrived at the big station not long after. What's your name? said the fat controller. Simon, sir, explained the new engine. Good to hear, said the fat controller. Now, life here can be confusing at first, so I've brought Thomas in to help teach you how we do things here. Thomas, you will need to show Simon how we do operations here. Sir, so, yes sir, replied Simon politely, and the fat controller walked off to his office to do his paperwork. At first, the two got on well. Simon would bring the good trains on time, and there were little to no delays. All in order, he would say whenever he finished hunting a train. The workman liked how polite Simon was. Thomas soon grew bored, and began bumping the trucks more and more. Orderly now, Simon said, but Thomas took no notice. Soon, Thomas began to dally and boast about his branch line. I do suppose engines like you are most jealous, he said cheekily. Simon didn't take notice. Never been one for branch lines myself. Shunting is much better for me. Besides, with shunting like that, it's no wonder your the top and hat wants you out of here as soon as possible. Take those trucks over there and take care this time. I don't have time for clearing up your mistakes. Thomas was furious. Thomas complained to Edward that night. That Simon's always bossing me around, he said. Always telling me I'm late. You think the yard will be his own private kingdom? I'm sure he means well, replied Edward. Besides, it doesn't hurt to keep to time. Thomas still wasn't convinced. Well meaning or not, I'm growing tired of his bossing. I'll show him how a proper engine shunts. After all, before getting my branch line, I was the most important shunter on the whole island. And before a concerned Edward could say anything in reply, Thomas fell asleep. The next day, Thomas was arranging a goods train. He was so busy thinking about how he could show Simon what for, that he wasn't paying proper attention to what he was doing. He ran to the yard quickly. Too quickly. The points had been set to the main line to let Henry into the yard. Simon was on the other end of the yard and gasped as he saw Henry coming in with a train of empty hoppers. Stop! Stop! whistled Simon, as he blew his whistle to get the signalman's attention. Everything happened at once. Thomas applied his brakes, the truck screamed in horror, Henry winced his eyes just before Thomas swerved into a set of trap points, just in time as the empty train roared past into the yard. Watch what you're playing at, you cheeky tank engine! groaned Henry. Nobody had been hurt, but Thomas was off the rails, looking most embarrassed. Simon came not long after with the repair crew and surveyed the mess. Oh, I'm sorry, Simon. I'm sure it'll upset your arrangements now. Simon just chuckled. Never mind about that. Let's get you back on the rails. I'm sure I can handle the work on my own for a while. An excellent idea, Simon, came a voice. There was the fat controller. Simon, please return so much to the shed. He'll need some inspections before I can return to service. The fat controller turned to face Thomas. As for you, he said in a more stern voice, I shall speak to you later. The fat controller did speak to Thomas later. He told him about keeping to time and not trying to prove himself. 
Thomas was left with a lot to think about. After his inspections, he returned to his branch line at once. Wow, said Thomas. I've never seen the yard this clean before. All in a day's work, said Simon. Although, Simon continued, perhaps I got too carried away with my bossing around. I suppose there were lessons worth learning, chuckled Thomas. Though well, you know, perhaps you could finally show the big engines what for. The two engines chuckled. Despite their differences, they were still friends in the end.